हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज प्रशांत चौधरी आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल क्लासिक पावर सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द शेयरिंग पावर ऑटोमेट फ्लोज विद मल्टीपल यूजर्स ओके सो दैट स्नेर यू कैन बी कवर्ड बाय यूजिंग टू अप्रोच वन कैन बी द मेलवर वर्क वेयर वन पर्सन इज द कंसर्न पर्सन टू शेयर द फ्लोज विद अदर यूजर्स एन अदर अप्रोच इज बाई यूजिंग द पावर ऑटोमेट ओके सो for the manual work there are some pros and some cons and the same is for the power automate let's discuss one by one for the manual work it is time consuming obviously let's say you have 10 flows to share with other users so at a time you need to open each flow one by one and need to share particular flow with other users so that will take some time on the x and other hand power automate won't take that much time okay second point more chances of mistakes because if the user is sharing the flows with other users obviously there is a chances to get the mistake okay but in case of power automate if you write if you have very well created your flow it won't do end up of mistakes so yeah yeah there would be less chances of mistake third one the complete out of the box work in case of sharing the flow by using the manual one it is completely out of the box out of the box means you just user just need to click on the the any person who is either the owner or the co-owner of any flow he just need to click on the three dots and just need to share and there he can simply write the email to whom he would like to share his flow okay so that's why i'm just taking saying this is the out of the box but in case of power automate you just need to assemble the different connectors in such a way so that it can share your flow with other users okay that's why it is that work would not be the same in this case the fourth point is the less permission required in case of manual work you if user if the user is just the owner or the co-owner of any flow he can simply share that flow with any user any one person but in case of power automate the person who is creating the flow should be a should have the valid permissions to share the flow with other users okay so to in order to cover the scenario i am just taking it to my screen okay so here i have one user that is my uh, dev one user and on the another hand i have one more user who is the prashant chaudhary okay it's blogs to me so here you can see for the dev user you yeah, for the dev user there is flow that is a dev user flow one okay that is present in the cloud flows okay and that flow is not shared with the prashant chaudhary if i show you here there is no as such flow okay but as i if i go with the main template there are two possible ways one either the user can share the flow or the admin member can, can also share the flow with any person okay but in this case in this my tenant prashant chaudhary is the global admin okay so you just need to open the power automate okay template and here from this gear icon use on click on this admin center once you click on the admin center i have already clicked it it will navigate you to this screen here you just need to select the environment and then it will show all the resources that are associated with this environment okay so here you can see the resources and there is the flows if i click on these flows okay so like uh, here are the flows on it is showing only two flows but i am trying to looking for the flow that is created by dev user that who name is flow user flow 1 dev user flow 1 okay and that flow should be visible for the admin okay so i simply click on this load more and then i can see dev user flow 1 although this flow is not shared the prashant chaudhary but prashant chaudhary is the global admin so he can see this flow from here not from the flows screen not from the from that screen okay so if the admin would like to share that any flow with any person he just need to click on this three drop down and then share and there is a just he just need to write the email of the person to whom he would like to share let's say prashant and it will give the user who is present in the tenant so maybe this one yes okay so that's how the it the he can, the admin members can maintain or can 
or manage the flows that are running in the in environment okay only the admin members the power automate admin members can do this okay another approach i'm i have for you is the by using the power automate okay so i have already created a flow but uh, i haven't tested it okay so yeah this is the flow i have created okay if i simply open it you can see i have used some connectors okay it is simply triggering by the manual trigger okay and i have used one connector that is the list my flows okay so in power automate you have the connector of power automate so i use the if i show you you can see if i search for the flows here there is a power automate connector and it gives these type of actions that can you can use in order to achieve your requirement okay so here we have the uh this one list flows as admin if you are the admin then it will can show you all the flows that are in the particular environment okay and list my flows okay so i you just need to add this list my flows and later you also need to add one more connector of this power automate that is the modified list flow owners and modified flow owners would ask you the environment obviously in which environment your flow is the flow if you would like to share any static flow okay at a time you can simply select a particular flow but if you would like to use the flow in a different way or okay, in a different way means if in a dynamic suppose there are multiple flows and that are coming from this connector so at a time you need to pass the dynamic name of your flow okay so that you can pass from this dynamic contents okay flow name this flow name is the output of the previous connector then you can use that one and here you just need to add user item and then the other things okay yes so that is how it actually works so from this approach you can use the power automate flow to share some flows with other users okay and here you can also see you can add a multiple users as well you can share your flow with multiple users add user item if i click on more you can see there is an option to add another user okay for as a owner okay yeah but the thing is in case of flows there are some permission that needs to be valid okay that particular person to, who is the creator of this flow should have the valid permissions to share the flows with other users okay that thing you can get on the microsoft doc of this connect okay so yes guys that is the two approach i am highlighting in, in this video there can be multiple approach to share your flow multiple flows with multiple use you can use any other approach but i am in this video i am just highlighting only these two either by the admin member or the manual work any person who is sharing the flow or by the power automate flow okay so so thank you everyone so this is all in this video okay and if you have any query you can just write in the comment box i'll once i get time i'll definitely revert to you okay so thank you so much thank you everyone